<clears throat> How's it going, everybody? Uh, my name's Hunter Halsey, and I'm going to be demonstrating how to play the game Hard Hat. Um, so this game came out in 1982 by a company called Exidy. Um, it was one of the largest game system or video game system creators from around 1974 till about 1986. Um, some of their notable games that they released during this time are Circus, uh, Death Race, Star 5, Venture, Mousetrap, and Pepper 2 were some of their more popular games in this in that time. Um, so it's a two-player game. Uh, only one person can play at a time, but you can still compete for a high score. And the... Um, the object of the game is your player, which is um, a carpenter, is being chased by hammers and whirlwinds. And through this grid of scaffolding, um, the carpenter has to move the scaffolding and move letters, which are in the grid. And they have to spell and go in place that are, there's spots throughout the, um, grid where you can place letters and you have to move them in there to spell Exidy and Hard Hat. Um, so you get three lives and I'll go ahead and demonstrate how to play now. So all the green lines are the scaffolding. <laughs> and the grid moves if you clear a hole. Um, level or whole line of scaffolding like that and that's how you can find your letters throughout the map so I found my first letter down here which is E and you have to push them up into their dotted line or the designated area Something unique and that makes this game a little harder is you'll see not every um, section or every link from dot to dot is um, is scaffolding. Some will be a brick and you can't go through them. They're blocked and you can't push the letters through. Or you can push the letters through them, but you can only push them through once because um, you can't go through them. Um, the hammers and whirlwinds can go through them, so it makes it a little difficult to get away from them when you get stuck in them. <clears throat> the only way to um, the only way to get away from the, the hammers and whirlwinds is if you hit them with a letter and then they go away. I don't know where they go, but for every piece of scaffolding you take down you get uh, 50 points and you get 200 points for putting a letter in its correct spot. I'm not very good at this game, as I said earlier. I have yet to complete the full word. <laughs> Something else that makes this game a little more difficult is the whirlwinds. If they hit you, you, you die, but if they hit the letters, it moves them to a different spot on the map or grid.
something I do like about this game is that the games are short. But that might just be because I'm not that good. I'm gonna go ahead and try and play again. Try and win this time. Probably played it a dozen times now. I still can't win. So I guess you cannot um, beat a whirlwind or hit it with it and knock it out of the way but the hammers you can as I just experienced Before you start, it'll, like after you die or after another level, it will tell you which player is up. It'll say get ready player one or player two. Obviously I'm just playing one player, so it'll just continue to say get ready player one. Right there it says get ready player one. Something I don't like about this game is the fact that you only have three lives, so it does make it pretty challenging to win, as you can see, well for me at least. Okay, I'm not going to win, but, so, you get the gist of it, and, um, thanks for watching. <laughs>